Hi folks, it's been a while. What we're looking at here is a test scene for my new uh, mission system, which is actually um, a little plug-in for Unity, uh, which is currently called the Dolphinia Toolset. Might change, and you can actually add missions uh, using this GUI, etc. But uh, this is not what I'm demonstrating right now. The purpose is I will be able to design my missions using the Dolphinia toolset there, um, and it'll all work, and you can load them in and stuff like that. But at the moment, I'm actually testing them by writing them in XML myself, just because it's easier than maintaining the GUI side of it. So I write uh, a simple XML document like this. Like I say, this will not be human generated very soon, but at the moment I think I am just, uh, I've been doing the last few with, by hand. Um, anyway, maybe I'm not making much sense there. I've been uh, working on this all day. So, essentially I will run it and uh, demonstrate what I'm talking about. So, when I start up here, you can see in the bottom right there's a radar. And what this demonstrates is that there is four things on the radar. There's a green dot, three white dots. Now, the green dot is actually a mission that I can go to, an op a mission that is open, ready for me, which is why it's green. And the three white dots are a different type of mission, I guess you could call them, where just picking things up, like in Grand Theft Auto, when you could pick up the, I uh, can't remember what they were now, flags or something. So it's that sort of thing. So what I'm trying to demonstrate is the mission system can handle all this. So first thing I'll do is I'll get one of these little pickups. And these pickups are going to be called Sabarins in the game. After my friend. And I've even used a little picture of him on here because he's the sort of guy who goes and picks up all these things. <laughs> Slowing down a bit this video. So if I pick up one of the Sabarins, you'll see on the radar it'll disappear. And it'll say I've collected one X of X. I haven't filled that in yet. So <clears throat> there's two left on the other buildings, but the other mission is still open. So I can go down here. I don't know why it's jerking like that. I can go down here and talk to this dinosaur here. And the, he's the green dot. He's the new mission. <coughs> Excuse me about that. It says, new mission, deadly shapes. You've been tasked with the difficult one this time. Find the small white cube of death and you will get untold riches. So, you now see on the radar that the green dot has disappeared and a red dot has appeared. Uh, that indicates that the beginning of the mission that I've just started has now... Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm messed up. Beginning of the mission... Um, is gone now, the green dot is gone because I've, I've started the mission so now uh, it's there's a red dot and the red dot is showing you how to end the mission where to get to in order to end it so uh, if I go to this square here as you can see when I hit it that red dot will disappear and it'll say mission completed deadly shapes which is the mission I just did and it's now no longer on the map and there's still a couple of them pickups I could go and get one of them right now, one of the Sabarins, uh, if I wanted, and that will not mess with anything. I'll get one now. That will disappear from the radar. And the other mission I was going to do, go to is still open. If I go down here, there's a little guy down here I can talk to, and he's the, the green dot, so when I go up and talk to him, It gives me a new mission, kill the red cube, go destroy that weird red cube behind the sticks factory, here is a shotgun aid you on your quest, so I take the gun he's given me, and you can see on the radar now there's a red dot, that's telling me the thing I need to go and kill, this could be a guy or a building or anything, happens to be a red cube, blow that up, as it blows up you see it vanished from the radar, and I got mission completed, killed the red cube. So now I'm like, well, there's another mission, green. So you go back and it actually turns out to be the same guy. 
as you can see the white dot is still there for my pickup so that's working fine and I go back to him uh, he's actually moving around at the moment but the place where I pick up the mission is there he wasn't supposed to move so then he says go and kill the dinosaur that's his mission go destroy that silly dinosaur please uh, I'll just kill him so first actually so he respawns and we don't lose him <laughs> So he then tells me to go kill the dinosaur, so I'm like, yeah. I blow the dinosaur up, mission completed, kill the dinosaur. Now, there's a green dot appears, showing me a new mission, which actually turns out to be the dinosaur, telling me to go and kill the other guy. So now he's red, I have to go back and kill him to complete this. And if I blow him up, then I've completed him and killed him and there's no more missions left I've completed the missions uh, but there's one dot here which is one of the Sabarans get that and if I get this I've basically completed everything on this level and that was all carried out using my plugin and its associated runtime logic and all of that specified by this XML file which I'll briefly go through forget the top bit so the first mission, Deadly Shapes, it's got the name and description, and it says duplicates of me. Well, duplicates of me are for things like picking up the Sabarans. If you go to the bottom, you can actually see that I have collect the Sabarans, and uh, duplicates of me is three. So I can, if I've got three Sabarans placed around my level, I put three there, and then I don't have to copy and paste that, but that's actually a separate mission. I mean, the missions in that might get split up into objectives or something but right now it's working and even an objective would only be a subset of a mission uh, but I've added a lot more every day every, a lot today just in defining the mission so I, obviously it's growing all the time but anyway so duplicates of me zero for that means that there's there's no duplicates radar icon start normal start radar icon end normal end there that's how I specify the red and green icon in my code I actually look that up and and look up the right icon which I associate with the radar in the in the inspector. So it's I did specify a PNG there earlier, but it just seemed a bit crazy to do so. Keep it finite, but it means that we can have different icons for different missions anyway. Missions reliant upon well, this is the first mission, so it doesn't rely upon any others. But that's how I get the order right. Um, like this one down here relies upon zero, which means that you have done the first one. This one relies upon one means you've done the second one so and this one relies upon the next one so in this way they're actually sequential these missions the ones at the bottom here uh, that do not have uh, most the relies upon go? mission reliant upon yeah the ones that this that have nothing in mission reliant upon are in unsequential ones ones that can be done separately uh, at any time, you know, not in order. And um, the other ones that actually rely upon one, this is how you work out what order they go in. So this order actually does matter in the XML. Um, and then the mission starts when the advanced demo player, that's me, the player, reaches the Stixman sphere. That's just a sphere I've set up so you can walk in. Uh, or, uh, and then it ends when the advanced demo player kills the dinosaur. And as you can see, each of the things I've just done, kill the cube, dinosaur, short man, they're all defined there in the XML. I'm not explaining it great because I've only got one minute left. Um, but essentially, them six missions you just saw defined by very simple XML, and it actually worked really well. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, as I say, my GUI tool will mean you don't have to write any XML at all. You You can actually... Uh, define it in this window here which can be docked like an ordinary window and you can uh, there's a drop down here for killing picking up and there's a drop item here so I can actually drag an item like the dinosaur from here and the dinosaur will come up there and as you can see it's a bit messed up because I've been changing the GUI but the drag and drop works and the selecting of it all works so once it generates XML I've got a drag and drop mission in there and thanks for watching